Hi viewers, welcome back. Today again come up with another video. And today's video about how we can bypass a sensor or a switch. So here you can see today, this you can see, this is the seat belt light indicator. Okay, this is coming. As you can see here, seat belt switch and this seat belt is up already. I fastened the seat, you can see. I have fastened the belt already but here you can see still this light is coming okay indicator showing the seat belt is not fastening so already I have fastened the seat belt I fastened but still light is coming it means my this switch is out of order so I am going to bypass it through a potentiometer by using a potentiometer so here this one is a my potentiometer this is a 10 kilo ohm resistance of this potentiometer and i am using this potentiometer for passing the belt seat sensor so here you can see here are three points one two three so i am using only the first and second last one i am not using because if i use this first one and third one then the voltage will not be very so this third one is used for varying the voltages so therefore i use first here i put the input voltages and the here i will get the required voltages which i needed output voltages which give the sensor and i gave this voltages back to the ecm okay this is my connector this is a sensor connector here you can see here the three wires are here okay one green one white and one purple wire here okay this purple wire this side is broken so therefore i fix this new wire so i fix this i bypass the connector because this purple wire is broken inside there so this my purple wire is my battery voltages this white wire is ground one and green is sensor voltages so i check i small make a cut here and check the voltages are not coming here I am going to bypass this sensor I fix I disconnect this connector from here so now I'm going to disconnect from here and then I fix my uh, potentiometer here and show you the reaction of that uh, indicator uh, so here you can see I have uh, disconnected this uh, belt seat switch from the main harness okay it means I have bypassed it I have finished this one okay now I have connected my potentiometer here you can see here are the three wires this white one is negative this uh, purple one is the main voltage coming from the battery and this green one is a the voltage of the sensor yeah voltage of the switch which is going to the indicator belt indicator light white wire i have ignored it i not connected to anyone this purple wire this is coming the 24 voltages from the battery side okay and i connected this wire to one side of my potentiometer i wrap the tape here but this is a one end first at the first point I connect this uh, purple wire and the middle end middle point of this potentiometer I give to this uh, green wire this uh, green wire here I put my one wire this to my multimeter it will measure the voltages as you know so so I have bypassed this uh, belt indicator switch and now i put the my potentiometer i connected potentiometer to the harness now i show you how it will work so main things to understand one wire of the potentiometer connected to the this purple wire which is coming from the battery and other wire of the potentiometer connected to this green wire a connector is going to the belt indicator light Okay, so my connection is complete. I also fix my volt. Uh, I also fix my multimeter to it. 
now i'm on the machine and show you how it work but this so as you can see this time my machine is started and here you can see it showing the seat belt indicator light is on it mean my belt is showing the belt is not fasting okay so this time here you can see this one is my multimeter showing the 4.7 voltages and this one is my potentiometer so i will increase the voltages okay when voltage reach up to 8 when it reach near 8 when i increase this one here you can see so light has gone so indicator has gone when it come down is coming down light again come again light lights up indicator lights lights up when we increase the voltage is so its light again has gone So viewers in this way we can bypass any sensor hope you like this video please don't forget subscribe my channel and share this video to your friends